Okay, Sasha, thank you very much for taking the time to come and talk to us today. This is a part of a string of interviews we're doing okay. with various people from B Collaboration. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're, what you're, what you're doing and a bit about your past, please? Yeah, well, um, I, I have two businesses. Um, the, the first business I have is a digital agency, um, as you know. You work with us on, on that. Um, and we have a really new, exciting business called uh, businessagent.com, which is the, the UK's first um, crowdfunding aggregator, um, where we put all the equity and debt crowdfunding opportunities in one place to allow investors and entrepreneurs to get you know, uh, the investment they need and the finance they need. Right, well, we'll come on to that in a bit. But going back to when we met, I mean, four, four and odd years ago, yeah. um, uh, I remember you was kind of running around, entrepreneur, doing lots of different things. How, how would you describe life back then? Um, I, think, I, I think when we first met, didn't we, we, I had about seven businesses. Yeah, you were like... Running. Yeah, we had a brand of EQ, some not making any money, some, you know, some making money, silly amounts of money, um, you know, expanding fast, you know, running here, there, everywhere, very brash, very confident, um, for thought I knew it all. Um, yeah, it was uh, quite an interesting phase, exciting phase, but there was there was a there was a boom and a crash to that as well. Yeah, I think. and then we started working with each other for a little while, didn't I? I started mm. kind of working with you and the team, and you kind of made some big decisions, didn't you, at that time? You made some changes yeah. to your approach to what you were doing. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 we talked about you coming in as a coach, and um, we did some basic um, you know, business coaching, brought me back to basics. I remember you showing me the graph of, uh, you know, where, um, you know, when people start their businesses at the beginning of their life and they're all excited and then all of a sudden, it, you know, it, it, it becomes a chain around their neck and if they've carried on doing the things right at the beginning, you know, where they've got this they high growth. They inside that cycle, don't they? Exactly. So, you know, it was, it was good. It, it, it was good to have a coach for a while, bring me back to basics and... Um, and uh, do all the things again that you know we did it did in the very early stages. Yeah, and I remember even back then you were talking about this business agent domain you'd bought. You wanted to do something with it, and mm. you wanted to make it. You wanted. You, I knew it, you wanted it to be global, something big, like you, like you know your big one. You know, entrepreneurs I suppose think they want to make a global impact, don't they? And I kind of got clear about for you, business agent was always going to be part of that. Yeah, I mean, we bought. We we had the idea of business agent um, literally fifteen years ago. Um, uh, when I first got involved in the internet. And the original idea was, you know, basically selling businesses. Um, you know, because there, there wasn't a website like it at the time and Rightmove was being established. And I thought, well, we need something like, like, like Rightmove for businesses. And, uh, you know, with the internet business, we were, just, we were just so busy all the time. But it wasn't something that really excited me. I just thought it was a great domain. I, I bought it. I, you know, I think the domain name itself is... You know, valued about fifty thousand pounds, and going up by a million, and going up by the day, um, and then obviously two years ago, um, it's about two, two and a half years ago, we went with you. That's to right, the, we went, yeah. To the launch of a because every now and again I'd phone you or send you an email. So I'm going off to this event. I'm going off to this seminar because one of my things is always being out there, keeping the finger on the pulse. And you'd always kind of come along with with me, and we'd kind of go. You you, you found out about crowdfunding, yeah. and. It's changed everything, hasn't it? It was it was a light bulb moment, wasn't there? We 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 were, we were running, I think. You know, you were tra we were training for a half marathon, and uh, I said, you know, I've been looking at all these crowdfunding sites. And I said, it's amazing. This is this is going to change the world, you know. Um, and this was two years ago, and I never knew anything. About it. I said, I can see this bypassing the banks. I can see small businesses getting the money that they need to grow. Um, and and then we started to look. I started to look at the crowdfunding sites, the individual ones, and realised that they only had sort of four, yeah. maybe three opportunities. And I, I literally said to you, I said, why don't they just get together and put it all on one website, you know, rather than compete and collaborate? You know, what, what your whole, you know, mission statement was about, you know, it was, that, it was the back of that idea. Um, my background of having business agent and also um, the fact that, you know, my, my first job back in the internet was working for Scoop.com, you know, which is mm. the original aggregators, the yellow pages of the world. So we had all, I had all that experience there, ready to go, the domain, the digital agency. It was almost like everything was like, there was a synchronicity. Exactly. All the perfect elements came in. Um, and also you've seen big collaboration from, from day one, from, yep. from before inception. There's a number of people that have been around from the beginning supporting me, look at, you know, trying to help us. How have you seen big collaboration change and develop? Um, and... 
And I suppose on the back end of that, if someone's watching this video and thinking about being part of the community, what, what are the benefits of being... What are, would you cite the benefits of being part of this community? Well, um, I think uh, collaboration, big collaboration, yeah, I have seen it grow. You know, the, the, it's, it's turned... It, it, there was an original idea and a dream from you, um, and it's, it's organic, isn't it? It's, it's, it's been an organic growth. And... Um, what is nice about it is the people that you've got involved and that were the you know co you know, the original founders with you um, uh, are genuinely in it to help people and help each other. And as we've seen that 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 the the collaborative movement you know within the group grow and it being shaped, it, we're on, we're now realizing that it's taken on a um, people are actually getting it. They're actually getting. You know this um, rather than just compete and bash heads together, and you go, I do this and I do that. You know, let, let's get let's get together. How can, how can I, by joining forces with you, make what I'm doing even better and help you achieve what you want? And you've done that with business, haven't you? You've had all sorts of collaborators involved, supported you. You've, you know, can you say a little bit about how that's kind of yeah? See, so now we, we we actually start to sing the you know the B collaboration. You know, mission statement. If yeah, you like. I think you kind of said let's do a charter for B collaboration that people can sign up to. Yeah, so basically, I, I, you know, we haven't really properly formulated that. It is in the in the mission statement, as you know, in the vision station statement. But we are we're looking at, at shaping a charter for for collaborating, and I've actually started that process already. So, for example, um, there've been other aggregators start, you know, in the, uh, the crowdfunding world, and you know, I phone them all up. Says, so, look, you know, look, guys, this this. This, they you know, must think you're crazy. They, they do. They're <laughs> mad. And I said, let's get together. And they went, what do you mean get together? I said, look, you know, we've only got a 3% dent in the UK for people knowing about crowdfunding. I said, so surely it's better that we get all our skill sets together and sit there and go, hold on, let's talk. We are our competitors. You know, it's obvious. You know, I do want to grow my business and be really successful. But if we actually take certain parts of what we're doing... And collaborate. So, in other words, you can end up with a hybrid that actually would be better than anything you could do on your own, and that's yeah. the whole point of collaboration, isn't it? Yeah, we, we. I mean, when we sat down, we like with the other um, uh, competitors. They, they were like, "Well, I'm great at data. I'm great at sales. You've got a web design agency. I'm great at news." And it was like all of a sudden you're sitting there thinking, "Yeah, well, why didn't we do this before? You know, you do the news side, you do the data side, we do the web design side, and we do the the sales side." You know, let's start sharing commission structures. Let's push the marketplace. You've got the skill sets there. Then you've got marketing budgets in a different way, you know. So and then also you're not repeating. Yeah. Because one of the things about big collaboration was when I met a lot of other coaches and independent consultants, they were all doing the same stuff. Just, yeah. you know, blogs, networking, you know, uh, doing their social media, all this activity to get some business. Mm. When actually if you just did the bit you love the most and deliver that day in, day out, you'd be a lot happier for it as well. Exactly. And... and and I think the, the, the big collaboration movement that you're trying to create here, you know, with getting people together, um, it, as I say, it's forming its own type of destiny. It's forming its own way of doing things. And when I talk to, um, you know, when I, just, when I talk to the other um, competitors, you know, they started to get it. They started to go, oh, right, I understand this now. And the thing is, what people don't realise is, it's a bit like crowdfunding, really. We're already collaborating. It actually happens all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. And when you start talking to people, look, this is big collaboration. Start doing it this way, and, and everything will happen. Um, we got, we 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 just don't call it that. You know, we 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 have, for example, associations like the UK Crowdfunding Association. That's a that's collaboration, yeah. but they they haven't really grasped no. it. But they are they just realise, you know, these businesses realise, oh, we need an association to promote crowdfunding. Yeah. I mean, the other thing is, uh, you know, one of the things I've been citing is uh, the current the current contextual poise out there, the, the way society works at the moment. There's a lot of competition, there's a lot of fear, mm. we're operating from scarcity. So if I share my ideas with you, you're going to steal them, or you're going to take my clients, or there isn't enough to go around, so I've got to, you know, I've got to store all my nuts in one place and keep an eye on them. Mm. And, and, and what we're finding is it's very fear-driven. A lot of our media is fear-driven. And really, to go in and talk the way you talk, having the confidence to be able to stand your ground, know who you are and where your value is, it, it, it's a great thing for people to be able to do that and share those ideas together. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's one, that, 
what you've just talked about there is one of the biggest challenges that I think that B Collaboration has. Um, you know, a movement of collaboration that still holds a level of competition um, between people to encourage them to actually be the best that they can be. Um, and that's always the problem with, with these, you know... Well, you can still be the best you can be. I mean, and you're, you know, was it, the race is long and it's only with yourself at the end of the yeah. day. You're not going to win. No one exactly. gets out alive, right, Sash? So no, no. Um, but but the, the, the thing is, is, is actually concretely... We're, we're, we're starting with what we're doing, you know, now... And it's about conquering that fear. If I, if I, two years ago, I would not have phoned up all my competitors no and gone, way. let's sit down and well, talk you, about this. You'd be looking at them and going, oh, they're no good at that, they're rubbish at that, rather than going, what are they brilliant mm. at and I can, I can work with that and, and help me. Exactly. Um, so looking at the future, you know, what, what does, you know, we're coming to the end of 2014. Any predictions for 2015 and beyond? I, I, I can tell you right now that the biggest shake-up in industry um, is the banking industry and investment. Um, it, uh, I, I predicted the internet 15 years ago, you know, I was going around talking to estate agents saying, look, you know, you need to get on the internet. This is, and they were saying to me, you know, you've got to be kidding. We've got, we've got the local paper. We've got the local it? newspaper. Yeah, that I was, it was absolutely ridiculous. And I still see these guys today and they go, Sasha, I remember when you told me. And I was like, yeah. Now, back then, we had a growth rate for internet usage of about 125% per annum. Right. Crowdfunding has a growth rate in, in equity. Well, I'll give you one marketplace. 410%. So it's just wildfire. Well, exactly. And also, we've got this massive multi-trillion pound machine in the middle, and we don't need it anymore. We don't need that trillion pound banking machine because crowdfunding connects one. You bypass it. You bypass it. So, you know, and I go back again, go back 15 years ago, you would never have dreamed of Buying a package on eBay, mm. yeah, uh, a, a or someone, some, from someone you know, you don't miles know, away, you live in Africa, front. you know, yes. like you're wherever it is, yeah. China, and then it arrives to you, you know, three days later, yeah. and you actually transfer them the money, yeah. and and all of, and now it's just the norm, it's yeah. just trust, yeah. and the thing is, we've actually already got the feedback system. Um, that banks use, you know, they, they use Equifax and Experian. Yeah. And so well, one of the there. things that we've been talking about also within the videos is that there's this trust equity. Mm. You know, is our trust equity is going to be part of our brand, part of what travels with us. You, you can leave country, go to a different country, mm. different career, different uh, industry, and you bring your trust equity with you. Like days of the old CV and all that. And, and really, it's like a portable reference system. People are yeah. saying, this guy's going to turn up, he's good at what he does, He's going to do a good job. He's, he's, he'll solve any problems, and you can trust him. You can take that and go anywhere with it, so it's portable. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, look, listen, I, I know I called you out of the blue and yeah. asked you to come down today. I really appreciate your time. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, no, see, I, I, I think you, you hit it on the now. Um, there's a lot of fear out there, and um, one of the things about collaboration, and I know you're very passionate about it, is about conquering that fear of actually trusting another human being. Um, and... Fear is actually driven from large corporate um, machines. And media, to schooling. To protect their interests. Yeah. You know, like, you know if, if we start trusting one another and start lending to each other and, or deliver packages in the post, the most amazing things actually happen. Um, and, um, you know, like I say, next three years you'll, you'll well, see On that note, I was writing a vision and mission statement with a client yesterday. We put trust, the possibilities are endless. Yeah. Because when you trust people and you can rely on them, not that they're going to get it right all the time, because no. that's, that's not, I don't know what we, that is, we but, all, we but, all, but, but it's how you put things right afterwards. Exactly. Sasha, it's been a pleasure meeting you, and I, I, I really appreciate your time, and I wish you all the best with Business Agent, and I look forward to your career and shaping the future. Yeah.